you doing? Officer Matthews, Florida Fish and Wildlife. I'm out here today in Palm Beach County, Boca Inlet. I'm here to give everybody some tips and tricks on lobster sport season, aka mini season. And we'll go over your licensing requirements, uh, your methods of take, your size limits, bag limits, and a few other tips and tricks we have for everybody to have a successful mini season this year. If you're planning on harvesting spiny lobster this year, you're gonna need a saltwater license and you'll also need a lobster permit. Both of those you can get online at gooutdoorsflorida.com or our app, which is called Fish Hunt Florida. It's pretty easy. Go online, get yourself a license, and that's all you need in order to harvest lobster. All right, so if you're wondering the legal size of lobster you can harvest in Florida, it has to be greater than three inches. So in order to do that, you have to have your gauge and the lobster has to be measured in the water. So as long as it's greater than three inches, you're good to go. Another check for that, just make sure the lobster doesn't have any eggs under its tail. So that's real easy to see, bright orange, leave them alone if they have the eggs. Now I want to go over some gear that you're allowed to use to harvest spiny lobster. This is called a tickle stick. You use this in conjunction with a net. You got your lobster down in the, in the coral, throw your net over it, and then you can go ahead and throw the measuring device, which has to be in the water with you, again, greater than three inches. Another common tool to harvest spiny lobster is a snare. So get, your, uh, get the snare around the lobster's head, pull it tight, not too tight, then you can go ahead and measure it again. Check for eggs, of course, and then you can measure the lobster there. So these are some common methods used to take lobster, but again, no spiny lobster can be punctured or speared here in Florida. So let's talk about possession limits and bag limits for spiny lobster. So if you're staying locally this season, your bag limit here is 12. So that means the first day you're harvesting lobster, you can have 12 on the water. Okay, that possession limit applies off the water as well. The second day, you're allowed your 12 again, and then off the water, you can have your 24. And again, that's per license, per harvester in this area locally. I hope all these tips helped everybody. If you're still curious about size limits and bag limits, licensing and gear, you can always visit myfwc.com and we have all the information on there for you. But most importantly, be careful on the water, be patient, look for dive flags, slow down, have fun. We'll see you on the water.